Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Wills to Live Online video. This one is going to be on the best ways to level up, like the fastest ways you can farm XP from killing mobs. So, there'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video on guys, let's get on with the video. Alright, so the first two methods are actually going to be in the dead forest. To get into the dead forest, you just go to the rock, bottom right corner of the map, as you can see there, the bottom uh, southwest, and there's an entrance just where I had my mouse cursor. When you get into the dead forest, this is where you're going to land, and you're just going to want to get... Well, this is, yeah, this is the dead forest, this is how you get there anyway. Alright, so, I highly recommend anybody to just quest until you hit level 8, that is the best thing to do. Then when you hit level 8, you can come down to the dead forest and farm these elder spiders. You're going to want at least a PPSH slash 1 or an SKS. On all the kills, you can see me getting uh, the polymer. You're going to want to keep the polymer, the coal, and the uh, the webbing because you're going to need that for later on in the game. Like I said, you're going to want a PPSH1 or an SKS. Like I said, minimum requirement, level 8. So to find these spiders, you're going to come into the dead forest and you're going to come into the main area, like in the center, but you're going to stay on the edge of the center, like where my mouse cursor is now, B3 slash 2, 3, you know, and where, where at first, B2 slash 2 and 3, stay on the outside, if you go in the inside, you'll get the fire spiders and you don't want to get them until you are higher level. Alright, so on to method number two, now you're a little bit higher level, we're going to be going on to the fire spiders. I highly recommend coming here when you hit level 16, unless you are a miner, you could probably come here at level 13, because you're tankier, you take less damage, you have more health, and you unlock your shotgun at level 13. Everyone else, you're going to unlock everything at level 16, the MP5, the Mosin, and the assault rifle, but I can't remember the name of it, uh, off the top of my head. So, with these fire spiders, if you, like, for an engineer and a hunter, you guaranteed will not be able to tank them at level 16. There is a way to fight them without taking any damage. You can, if you look in the description below, you'll find a link to my money-making video. And I explain in there how to fight them without taking any, any damage at all. So, jump into the description, go to my money-making guide. Again, jump into the description and skip to the fire spider part. And I'll teach you there on how to fight them. Without taking any damage whatsoever when you get to a higher level you might be able to tank them uh, for the mercenary and for the uh, miner you might be able to tank these at level 16 i don't think so though like i never tanked them when i was level 16 i was always dodging them and weaving but now i'm a higher level i've got way better armor way more health i can like i can tank them very easily but yeah these are the fire spiders this is definitely the second best way like i said minimum i would suggest is level 16 unless you're a miner level 13 again these are in the dead forest these are in the dead center like right in the middle these are the things that you're going around at the lower level so when you get to the higher level obviously you just go into the middle so yeah that's the fire spiders all right so the next thing this is going to be in the canyon this is going to be the sand spiders unfortunately my faction doesn't own a base right now, so I couldn't get a recording of them. But I do have a recording from my stream. I just I just highlighted it. Um, I'll show you on the map where you can find these right now. All right, so where you can find these in the canyon. If we go to my canyon map, map where is it? Canyon, canyon, there it is. So the locations you can find these is there's quite a few up here, about four or five. Um, there's two here on a D1 slash five. You can come over to... A2, I do believe, yeah, A2 slash 5, there's two there. Um, B4 slash 9, there's two there. Obviously, you can put all these markers on yourself if you want to. C4 slash 3, there's quite a lot that spawn around here. I think there's about four or five. These are very, very popular area. My favorite place to go personally is down here to it. F6 slash 3. When you own this base here because i've never seen anyone down there so you can literally just run down here i know it's a bit of a run compared to like everywhere else but you get two spiders no one else ever goes there so you're never competing for them 
There's also a fuel station right there where you can get food, wire, batteries, uh, some medical supplies. So I, I'd, what I'd do, I'd pick all that stuff up, do my farm run, you know, kill them all until I'm out of ammo, then run back up to uh, the village, you know, if your faction owns it, run back up here, bank everything, come back down, loot the fuel station, do spiders again, and I'd just rinse and repeat that. And these are, and again, these are an amazing money maker as well. So yeah, that's the sand spiders. Alright, on to the Mantadors. Is it Matadors? Mantadors? Something like that. These things are crazy tough. I am minimum level I'd, re I'd recommend is level 25. If you're a hunter, I'd say minimum level would be 30 for having the VSS fully, fully up to 100%. For any class, it will be highly advised to have your gun at 55%. Uh, so you've got the quick reload. Um, make sure you bring lots and lots of meds. I mean loads of meds. As you can see on my M4 and my AK, I have a quick reload on both of them. So yeah, these these things are nutty. Like, absolutely nutty. I'm going to show you now how to find these. So again, these are going to be another canyon mob. Um, I'll get to the canyon. Where's the canyon mob? So there is around four down here on uh, F4 slash seven. Uh, just going up and like down this little uh, little canyon part here. Um, there's some right in the middle of the map. Let me close that. On around C3 slash eight. I think there's like two around there. Uh, there's another two up on the top right. F2 slash five slash you know, or G2 slash 7, like, I just know there's two around there as well. Um, and there's also G18, there's a couple, that's, one that spawns down there, but do, don't fight that. That's like level 11, level 12, you'll never kill it. You can do it with a couple of people, but you won't be able to do it on your own. Um, yeah, oh, and F2, I don't know if I told them once. F2 slash 5, yeah, that's the one. Uh, where this waterfall is here, there's like four or five that spawn here. All these other spawns, they spawn between level 1 and 4. Like this one here, this one here, this one here. Them three spawns are between level 1 and 4. This one, G1 slash 8, I don't even have this mark because I just don't fight it. Because, yeah, you just you can't solo it, you've got no chance. So yeah, like these things are crazy. You want to be doing these when you get high level, 25 plus, 30 plus if you're like a hunter or an engineer. These give crazy XP the level fours, you're getting like 30, 25 30k XP off. So, yeah, these are brilliant. All right, so for the final one, this is going to be the uh, symbiote down in the bunker. This is going to be the bunker boss. Um, the only thing I can highly recommend on this is you're going to want again, you're going to want to be like 16 plus. Um, if you're a hunter, you probably want to be high, a hunter or an engineer, you'd want to be higher than that. I'd say to level 20 plus, get the best ca uh, gun you can. Met the thing I'll highly recommend on this is you want ciders for uh, making your stamina last. You're going to want medkits. Um, and you're also going to want the large antidote. Because of the things that it throws out, they do poison you and you are going to be chucking that off. Also bring bandages because every time you hit shit, it doesn't do a lot of damage. But it does add bleed effect on, so you want lots of bandages. I think this fight here, I didn't actually use a single medkit. It was literally just bandage, um, large antidote, bandage, large antidote. That was it. And like two siders or something. But this is only a level one. Levels on this thing are like mecha the biggest difference ever. Like a level one will give you like 40k XP. A level two will be about 60k. Level three is about 80k. I've killed, no, level three is higher than that. I killed a level three before and got 117,000 XP off uh, from it. But these you can only do once an hour. And obviously if someone else does it, you're gonna miss it. I just say, if you ever know the bunker and you're going down, probably take the supplies to fight it and just hope it's there. Um, so yeah, that is my five best farming spots. Like, you know, to level up as fast as possible. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did make sure you pop a like If you want to see some future content on Will's Live Online make sure to sub I'm always doing videos on this game because I am really really enjoying it It's one of the best games I've ever played. I think it's, it's honestly it's absolutely brilliant So yeah, if you want to see some future vids make sure you hit that subscribe button 
If you have any recommendations or you want to ask any questions or anything, hit me up in the comments below. Also, in the description, there'll be a link to my Discord and my Twitch channel where I stream every night. So I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.